Well, well. You know, I was gonna make a video yesterday, but I didn't. I didn't have time. Our uh, our position that we had on Bitcoin got hammered. Look at this drop. What a crazy drop. It was very interesting. I posted in the Telegram a thing on Twitter that showed how um, BlackRock was doing a liquidity grab. And that's basically a liquidity grab. I didn't say that, but that's... Turns out that's that's exactly what it looks like happened. We had a massive dump, and you know you'd think like, mm, okay, we reached that point where obviously our run is over for now. You know, like that's the top. And then the fact that we had a buy up, and then we slowly just etched back up. That's fascinating, and. When we go over to other coins and we look and we see what happened, it didn't happen on Jesus coin, but we go over to like sats, the same thing happened, a big sell off and then it all got bought right back up. And FYI, the yellow X is manipulation. You don't see that any other time, but I guess here, but we go over to ICP, big sell-off. We go into Ordi, massive sell-off. And then it's bought back up. Notice how it's always bought back up. BNB. Luna had a mega one. Uh, you know, I, I even noticed this occurred on the dollar. Where's Dixie? It occurred on the dollar as well. Isn't that interesting? And I don't know if there's news correlated with it or not but what it looks like to me when you have things like this occur is it's a liquidity grab RP it's all liquidity grab it's to position the bigger players in a fair spot Well, in a spot so they can get in. They did the same thing on in COVID back in 2020. Bitcoin. Yeah, you can get over to like we try to go back to 2020. They had the same thing occur in March of 2020. Well, I mean, it wasn't even on the scale of what we have now, but you see a massive sell off and then buy back up and that's when it runs. I guess the 2020 one was much larger. Maybe in the grand scheme of things. All right. And you can see that we had that sell off and then it's like it never even happened. We had the, the buy on the daily, and the charts aren't even reflecting the sell hardly. And that was a major move. Look at that. That's interesting. Two-day buy signal on Bitcoin. Two-day buy signal here. I know I called this probably the other day. And then we had that sell-off. Wednesday. No. Yesterday one popped. It, it's just, it's incredible. And this is the things you got to watch out for on, on crypto. You don't even notice it on the weekly. The stuff you got to watch out for on crypto. And it's why you don't over leverage. This is why you don't. You don't, yeah, you don't over leverage. And that's, I mean, it's a perfect example right there. You would have gotten wrecked. I mean, what do you do? Like the, the price actions all the way down here, you bought here, whatever. 
and it's like the price action's all the way down here, and you're like, well, you know, <laughs> it's twenty six hundred or two thousand eighteen hundred dollars difference. You know, some some will say, oh, well, I'll just stay in it. Like, no, we do. When you have a candle going down all the way down to here, you're like, shit, is it gonna go further? You know, it just dropped two grand. So that's something to take into account. You know, when it comes to when it comes to crypto, and especially in ways of hiding your stop loss from the exchange so they don't liquidate you. It's very difficult because, you know, unless you have some sort of program monitoring it over to API, there's no way to actually have a stop loss without, you know, mentally watching it. That's the best way to do the stop losses. So, let's look at a couple coins. I'll, I'll do a, a first one as Jesus coin. It's not doing much right now. I, I really expected more. Really thought we would get more out of it. And you know, what happened here? I wasn't even running logarithmic. What do you know? Nice liquidity grab. So something is buying up all these coins. You know, probably positioning for the bull run. Yeah, let me skip this song. I'm not feeling the Arab vibe. And so, um, we, we look at ICP, you know, same thing, nails. Nails didn't have much because I think it's harder to buy this currency. And so it might not be something that's on the radar of a market maker. 40 for sure. My god. Okay. And BNB. Run. Luna. Luna is very interesting. That is a very interesting drop and then a pump immediately after. Fascinating. So let's go ahead and look at NASDAQ, ignore my paper trade, and that's not looking too good. Ooh, nice off and weekly. It'll just be moving around. It's usually what happens, you get to all time high and then you break and they flip it back around. Dixie, ooh, Looks like we're getting a move back up on the dollar. You know, I was wondering if, uh, I, I was thinking the other day that we were getting an inversion with Bitcoin and Dixie. And so if I add Bitcoin to this chart, same as percent scale, new price scale, that looks a lot better. Okay. So. The moves on Dixie, we have sort of a sell-off and then we get a pump. We have a major sell-off and then we start getting a pump. It doesn't line up super well. However, we have the sell-off here. So if you're not understanding what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the dollar value. So like if the value of the dollar goes down, that means other things go up. Because the stock market goes up, when the dollar's value goes down. So the dollar gets weaker and the stock market is worth more dollars. Bitcoin is worth more dollars when the dollar goes down. You get it. So we have this move down and then we have a move up on Bitcoin. Let's look here. We have this possible move up. You know, what if we're getting some sort of buy like this right here? We have the buy signal and then we get the move up and then it falls down again and then that's what runs the bull market again. But you can see here, clearly we bounced off of a uh, demand zone. Blood diamond on monthly move down. I mean, there, it very well could turn back around. It could come up to here and then flip back down. But that 
whatever we were just on weekly looks deadly. That looks like that's going to rip. Interesting. Something to keep your eye on. So we're going to move over to... Let's pull Bitcoin back off. Bezo. Really shit the bed. Interesting. Out of mark. Helium Mobile pumped. Pretty good. Nice move. First time we get a buy on the hold on. So I want to show you guys something. I upgraded the psychosis indicator on Bitcoin. And I'm actually you're actually able to color the lines now and also use it on any other Bitcoin pair that is defined. So I post on the psychosis indicator page. This is the exchanges that it works with. And as you can see, very good trades. Looking to maybe long here. Things go well. But yeah, psychosis indicator got an upgrade. I'm working on NASDAQs right now. It operates a lot different and um, has a lot more data that it goes through. So it's a lot more difficult to, to get it right. But indicator's going well. It's doing well. Uh, if you're interested in it, it's only twenty dollars. Psychotrading.org. Like if you go back in the old videos, you can find a discount. But yeah, you can pop on the trader lines if you're feeling brave. Get down on the five minute, and you can definitely margin trade these if you know what you're doing. Boom. Look at that. Be doing pretty good. Multiples per day too. All day had bounces that you can trade. Not bad. And then you have like the swing lines or the or the gold. Just change it to like let's change it to purple. And then we'll keep the whale lines red. Just so that we see a working That did not work well. We'll just go back to yellow. Anyways, that's there. Obviously, that's trader lines. And then you got a red up here for a whale line. Whale lines obviously have way more of an effect than the trader. You can see that the whale lines are a lot stronger. It reloads. It holds the price action up. Massive move breaking through that. Then we move over to swing and they're just a tiny bit weaker, but they're still pretty powerful. Right there. Amazing trade. Rejection and then breakthrough. And then you add size back to it, but it never it never retested. So that's what we're aiming to too long. Got a manipulation candle here, so that'll be interesting. So yeah, guys, if you're interested, psychotrading.org, hop in the Telegram. Join us in the Telegram. We're talking daily. It's becoming more popular. Things are going good. All right, guys, take care.